Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulihil amin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Islam has come not only to teach us how to build our life individually. Because individual life can be individual responsibility. When I have my shahada, ashadu an la ilaha illallah, it means I have my iman. And I follow my iman by establishing five times daily prayer. I can go to the mosque or I can pray at home. I can do my qiyam. I can do everything else individually. But the question here, brothers and sisters, does Islam come to teach us only to develop individual life? Certainly not. Islam has come to teach us how to build our life individually, but also communally or collectively, socially. And if you see the history of Islam, Islam has two dimensions in terms of historical development. Number one, what is called Ahad Makkah, that is period of Makkah. When Rasulullah Sallallahu conveyed the message, Kulu la ilaha illallah tuflihu, say la ilaha, you'll be successful individually to every single Arab to become Muslim, to accept Al-Islam. And the Muslim in Makkah, Alhamdulillah, developed themselves very strongly. They are not unshaken. They are unshaken in their faith. Ammar, Allahu An, Bilar, Allahu An, Abu Bakr, Umar, Ali. All these are strong individually. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to migrate to Medina, to do hijrah to Medina. Why hijrah is necessary? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa can stay in Makkah and Allah opened the opportunity for everyone to become a Muslim. Allah can change people's hearts. But why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the prophet to go to Medina? Because Medina had been prepared to be a place for Rasulullah Sallam to establish a first community in Al-Islam. The first community in Al-Islam. And therefore, Islam is not only individual life, it's about community. So my point here, that let's develop our community. Let's build our community. But this community cannot be built without some pillars. What are the pillars of community? Number one, Taqwa Allah Azza wa a Muslim community must be developed, be built on the basis of taqwa Allah. Number two, wa'atasimu bihablillahi jami'ah. On the basis of unity and ukhuwa. Without unity and ukhuwa, a community cannot. And it is impossible to be developed strongly. Third, waltakum minkum ummatun yad'una il khair. The importance of social responsibility. Each one of us is responsible to one another. In one community, if any person is hungry, then the other members of the community must be responsible to feed that member of the community. But that community must be akhirah oriented community. Allah talk, talk about the akhirah. It's the representation that the community that we're developing is not material community, community, materialistic community, but a community that has a vision about akhirah. Life. You want to be happy here in this dunya. But this dunya is a mean for us to be happy in the here akhirah. In the here after. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fil akhirati hasana. Wa qina adhab That community also. Must be built on the basis of laws and regulations. Tilka ayatullahi natluha alayka bil haq. The ayat of Allah is laws. Regulations. So if you want to develop a community, it means you have to, uh, to have a clear regulations. Sometimes we call that in our organization bylaws. And our bylaws must be according to the Quran and Sunnah. Finally, brothers and sisters, the community that we are building and developing must be on the basis of Allah's responsibilities. It means we are responsible to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every matter, all matters are returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So everything that we do within our community must be 
with the pleasure of Allah and for the purpose of getting pleasure from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we have this community built on this basis from taqwa until the end, insha'Allah Allah says, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat linnas. Yeah, the best ummah, the best community, the best nation have evolved for humanity. So our community must be an, a community of excellence. Brothers, let me end with this. In the Western society, a community is our God. Our community is the protection of our Iman, our Islam. Without a strong community, our generations are going to be a lost generation. So let's make our community stronger, solid, so we can protect our Iman, Islam, and protect our future generation, inshallah, particularly here in America. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.